Hi everyone, it's Krista and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're not new, hi again. So this is my channel. I love to do DIYs on a budget, Dollar Tree DIYs, thrift flips, farmhouse rustic decor, wreaths, and seasonal decor. So if you like what you see here, you know what to do. Hit that red subscribe button. Also leave me a comment. I love to hear what you guys think. And give me a thumbs up. That helps my channel. You can also follow me over on Instagram, Pinterest, and TikTok. And I also have a wreath shop. It's called Christmas Wreath Designs. It's an Etsy shop. If you want to check all that out, I will have all the links down below. But today is all about Winter Wonderland with my original group of girls. Ladies, I love them. And my co-host is Crafty Hints this month. And these are all of the lovely ladies. But more about that in a minute. But first, DIY number one. So these are all about Winter Wonderland. DIYs. So I'm going to take these from the Dollar Tree, these little ornaments, and also that little church you see there. And then I'm also going to use that musical background scrapbook paper, a plaque from the Dollar Tree, and we are going to use this little um, arched like window. And I'm going to use this and I'm going to trace it out. And then I just glued it, cut it out, glued it to the back of that window. Next, I'm going to take some of my Antique Wax by Waverly. And I am just using a baby wipe. And I am just rubbing this all over the plaque portion from the Dollar Tree. And then I'm going to use some Mod Podge. And I'm just going to Mod Podge a bunch of Mod Podge on the top of it. And I'm just using a little sponge brush to do that. To smooth it out and then I'm going to use the fake snow from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to sprinkle that all over the top of my plaque. I'm going to make a little wintry scene and it's going to look so cute and then I'm going to take that window and I'm going to take these little picks from the Dollar Tree. They're just little green picks. They have they come in a bag like of a few of them and I just glued them to the top of my little arched window. And then once I get those glued down, I'm going to use the berries that you see there, the berry picks from the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to cut those, a little cluster of them, and I'm going to glue those, hot glue those down on top of the greenery pick. And I do that on both sides. And then next, I am going to do the other side, like I said, and then I'm going to take a little pine cone from this little pine cone ring that you get from the Dollar Tree as well. They have tons of pine cones at the Dollar Tree and I just put that in the center. Now I'm gonna take some hot glue and I'm going to glue this to the bottom part of my plaque. And there you go, there's our little outdoor scenery. And with the window, I think it looks so pretty. And then I just took the reindeer and I'm going to place all these in the front of the window. So first I'm gonna do the tree. I love these tree ornaments from the Dollar Tree. They're so versatile. You can use them for so many projects. And then I'm gonna glue that to the back of the scene there of the window. And then I'm gonna also gonna use some hot, hot glue with the gel um, super glue from the Dollar Tree just to make sure these are gonna stay stuck down because with the fake snow and everything, you just want to make sure it's going to stay extra, has some extra hold to it. And then I just um, did that the same thing with the little reindeer and I held it until it was in place. And there you go. I think this turned out so, so cute. But guys, let me know what you think in the comments. So today is all about winter wonderland. These are winter DIYs that you can have up all year through your winter season and these are the lovely ladies the playlist will be down below crafty hints my co-host her link will be down below as well so now diy number two i'm gonna take this shadow box that i got from the dollar spot at target some of these snowmen that i got from hobby lobby 60 percent off can't beat it and then also i'm going to use some chalk couture to do on the outside of my window that I had. I will have the link to Chuck a Tour down below as well if you are interested in purchasing anything from them there. I know they are having a sale right now, so this would be a good time to pick up some of those um, stencils or paste if you like Chuck a Tour. So what I did is I painted the snowman first, of course, white, and then I did the top hats, of course, in black. And then you're going to see me come in with... Um, my pen and I'm going to make the snowman faces with those. So I used a Sharpie to do the eyes because it's just two dots and then the mouth, of course, the little dots for the mouth. 
And then I made with the Sharpie, I did um, the nose um, with the orange, the orange Sharpie. And I did that with the little ones. And then I also did it with the larger ones. Now these large ones were only, I believe, $3.99 or $4.99, but it's 60% off. It might be even more now. I haven't been to Hobby Lobby for a while because I bought everything in the beginning of the season, basically. And I did the same thing with the larger ones. So I did that. So I used three large and three small. And the smaller ones you get at the Dollar Tree. And then what I did is I just took my stencils from Chuck Couture and I fuzzed them. That's what the fuzzing mat is on the side there. And what that does is helps it not really stick down real, real good because you want to be able to pull it up without pulling all your t tape up. I mean, all your paste up. And then I'm using some white um, chalk paste and I'm just doing the winter. It's going to say hello winter, basically. And these are so versatile because you can make anything you want. And I loved using these um, shadow boxes because they're so cute. And this went perfectly with it. But if you don't have Chuck Couture and you don't want to buy Chuck Couture, you can also use any type of stickers or stencils that you may have. The Dollar Tree sells stencils. The um, hobby stores sell stencils. The craft stores. So, you know, you could pick anything up that you want. And you could do the same thing. And then you just lift them up and there is your little image. And I just really love Chalk Couture because it's so easy and um, it just comes out so pretty and so crisp. So I just love the the way it looks. But yeah, you can use anything. Before I knew about Chalk Couture, I used regular stencils as well. And these were other ones that are just like little tiny, they look like little snow um, drops coming down. And I used that as well. And then I also did the Hello um, Above the Winter and these, you just simply rinse them off with some cold water and you get to use them over and over again, which is really great. <laughs> and then I just took down the hello, like I said, and I just um, put it, I believe that I didn't use just white. I believe I used just like a, a wintry white that they have that has a little bit of a shimmer in it. So then I'm going to take some Mod Podge and I'm going to put that down on the bottom portion of the inside of my box. And what that's going to do is that's going to hold, help hold down some of the fake snow from the Dollar Tree. And then I'm just going to sprinkle it in there. And I always use my little plastic dish so I catch all this, you know, the some that, that's some that's going to fall out. And then um, I just put it back in my bag. And this way it lasts longer. Then I took some of these bottle burst trees from the Dollar Tree and I am just going to put those in between my snowmen. And I'm just going to kind of do a a tree and then a big snowman and a small snowman and then a tree and I just do that all the way down my box and this comes out so cute you guys I actually sewed this at my craft fair so these went really really well they also have a house one too at Target which is super cute as well then I took these um I guess they're like glittery felt stickers and you could use these on the front of your box. That's what I mean. The Dollar Tree has has all this stuff. And I just stuck it to the back of the box because I wanted to have a little bit of snowflakes on the back, you know, showing through the box. So that's what I did for those. And you could do the same thing on the front with these and just use the smaller snowflakes even. And I just put it there and then you just slide the box back in. I must have moved these around a million times. I wanted to make sure like... That if you couldn't see the snowflake, I wasn't going to stick it on there, you know. And then I just slid it back in. And there it is. Look how cute they are. And here is your close-up. My little snowflake family. My little snowman's family. So now DIY number three. This one is super simple too. I use these rounds from the Dollar Tree. Um, some white chalk paint, some um, antique wax, this stencil, which I will have that link to my Amazon store. I bought those on Amazon. And then I'm going to use some ribbons that I had um, picked up from all different craft stores. But you can use any ribbon you want. So what I do is I take these um, rounds from the Dollar Tree and I glue them together. Okay. I just match up the holes and I glue them together. It makes them more sturdy and less flimsy. And it just makes them a lot better and feel a lot of it like they're more, you know, 
um, sturdy, I guess I want to say. And I did the whole thing with the antique wax. You just saw me do that. I just wiped it on with my baby wipe. And now I'm stenciling. I'm using my stencil brush from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just using a dabbing motion with the white Waverly chalk paint. And I'm just stenciling. I don't want it to bleed through. So that's why I do an up and down motion. And I just do little dabs. Not a lot of paint on my paintbrush. You know, you don't want to do too much. Then once you cover the whole thing... Then I take the tape off and I just lift it up. And look how beautiful that is, you guys. So you don't have to use Chalk Couture. You can also use the stencils that you could just purchase on Amazon. Same thing. So I wanted to give you a couple different options. Then I'm taking this gold rope that I bought at Hobby Lobby. And I just went around the edges because of gluing the boards together. And that just kind of covered it up a little bit. And then I stuck a bow in the middle. Of course, I love to make my bows because I make wreaths. And then I took some of these picks from Dollar Tree and Hobby Lobby and I stuck those underneath my bow on both sides. And I sold this at my craft show as well. And this is super fun to make. It makes a great gift too for people like because they could keep this on their door all winter long and it's just beautiful. I love it. I love the way it turned out. It's just so gorgeous with the gold, I think, and the white. Super pretty with the um, natural wood. Really, really pretty. And then I took these picks. I love these berries from the Hobby Lobby. Um, they have gold. They have every color they had this year. But these I actually had from <laughs> last year because I didn't use them all. So, But they know they still had them. So you can definitely pick them up. And you can make one of these and stick it on your door for the winter. And then I just kept gluing things on. And then I took this um, pick and I took this gold pine cone off of it. This was from Hobby Lobby as well. And I just stuck that in the middle. Super, super simple. And look how cute this came out, you guys. You guys got to let me know which one's your favorite. And then I just took some more greenery off of that gold pick there from Hobby Lobby. And I just stuck it kind of on the top portion of where I put the... Um, pine cone and it just kind of made it look more full and I just love the way it turned out and I love using the gold with the white and then using that antique wax it just looks so pretty so here it is you guys let me know what you think I want to thank you guys for watching make sure you check out all the ladies they are so so talented and I want to thank you guys for watching and as always remember stay crafty bye Merry Christmas!